Here in the shipyard in northern Charleston, preparations for our sampling cruise for the Sargasso Sea are just about complete. And that means that by hunt for marine viruses, the smallest and most abundant entities in our oceans, is just about to begin. I'm Joanna Warwick Dugdale, and I'm at the University of Exeter and Plymouth Marine Laboratory. I work on how viruses affect the carbon in our oceans. Understanding carbon cycling is really important if we're going to make predictions about climate change and put in place mitigation strategies. And studying the impact of viruses on oceanic carbon is a really important part of that. When you think of ocean biology, you probably think of coral reefs or dolphins. But actually the most abundant biological entities in the ocean are viruses. There are around 10 million viruses per millimetre of surface seawater. Most of them are viruses that infect and kill bacteria, called phages. By killing these bacteria, the phages cause them to burst open and release their contents into the ocean. It's estimated that 1 billion tonnes of organic carbon are released into the ocean each day by viruses. In this way, phages act like marine microbial recyclers, allowing energy and nutrients to be consumed by other forms of microbial life. So that's the reason I'm on this ship, in the Sargasso Sea, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. I've been funded by the Microbiology Society to come out here and study the effect of viruses on carbon cycling. 